Hello! It's time for another favorites video. I also have one non-beauty favorites that I'm just going to throw in here. But if you're looking for more non-beauty favorite items, you can watch my last video that I posted, which I believe I titled Lifestyle Favorites, <laughs> because it was... I think I had one beauty thing in there, lipstick maybe? But it was more like general lifestyle loves. Anyway, this is a beauty favorites. Let me get into the stuff I've been loving for the month of February. So this cream came in a FabFitFun box, and I've been using it at night, especially right before I go to bed. It smells so good. It's called Sicilian Tangerine, and it is like the best orange smell. I diffuse orange scented oils. Oh, it just smells like summer. So I put it on my hands right before bed. It's like probably the worst relaxing scent to use before bed. You should use like lavender or eucalyptus or something, but I'm like oranges, because I put it on and I'm like, Oh, I'm invigorated and alive. Maybe that's why I'm not sleeping well. Uh, let's get into the next one while I'm reaching back here. This is a blow dry spray by L'Oreal. It's called New Blow Dry It Quick Dry Primer Spray Cuts Dry Time Heat Protection. I was using, I've used two blow dry sprays pretty consistently for the last couple of years. One is from Matrix and then one is from KMS California. I either have misplaced them or forgot that I finished them because I've been reaching for my blow dry spray and I can't find it and I found this in my cabinet to be honest I don't know if it was shipped to me or I bought it so that's my sort of disclaimer there's a chance L'Oreal sent this to me I, can't, I genuinely can't remember but it's great I actually think I bought it I can't remember <laughs> it really cuts dry time it feels like nothing on your hair it's amazing it's amazing I would put it like I don't know if I'm going to say I put it above the Matrix blow dry spray because that stuff's amazing. I don't know, it's really close. If you need a blow dry spray, definitely look into this one. This is really special because my husband bought me this for Valentine's Day. Something you should know about my dear sweet Justin is he is such a practical gift giver, like extreme, but his heart is so generous and kind and he just... He's a practical gift giver, not because he's like, oh, I don't care, here, this is practical, but like, he wants your life improved <laughs> by his gift, so he really thinks about what, like, in what ways can this gift improve this person's life? Oh, a lot? That's a perfect gift for them. So, all, all of the gifts he's bought me over the years of being together, married, dating, I'm sure, I can't remember, have been from, like, Best Buy or the Apple Store. Now listen. They're not bad gifts. They're super practical and I love them. He bought me uh, my 50 millimeter lens for my camera when he was um, when he was graduating school, undergrad. Uh, grad, undergrad or grad school, I can't remember. Um, he bought me the Apple Watch. He bought me a new computer once, surprised me with it. Uh, he bought me an Apple Watch strap, like everything technology, which I like. So I've just become accustomed to that and for a while I was like, can you buy me something like romantic and, you know, uh, romantic basically, not from the Apple Store or Best Buy, I couldn't do it for a long time. And then suddenly on Valentine's Day, which is not a hugely significant holiday for Justin and I, he bought me this perfume and he researched like the number one selling perfume in the world and went and smelled it at the department store and was like, I'm going to buy that for Kate. It's Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. It smells good. It's a little bit strong from what I'm used to, but I found that like spraying it in the air and then walking into it is the right amount. But it's so sweet and he gave me the gift receipt and I was like, get that thing out of my face, I'll never return this. It was such a thoughtful gift because it didn't come from Best Buy or the Apple Store. It really meant a lot to me. So this has been a favorite for the month, I'm sure you can imagine why. I got the wet brush. This is, has my hair in it, sorry. I tried to clean it out as best I can. You've heard of the wet brush, I'm sure. Um, it's supposed to like brush through wet hair without pulling or snagging. It really does that. It's really good. I prefer vented brushes for blow drying because the air moves through the brush and so it speeds up your dry, blow dry a little bit. But I'm trying, I'm trying to be extra gentle on my hair and so I got this because these bristles are so flexible I didn't want to pull and like rip any of my hair at all. So I've been using it as I'm blow drying to kind of smooth through. I do most of the blow dry just like rough drying with my hands but when I w need to smooth through some sections I use a brush been using it for that. It's good. Like I said, vent brush is ideal, but if you want to be gentle on your hair and you don't want to pull any um, like tangles and be really gentle with it, how many times can I say gentle? It's great for that. 
perfect if you have long hair and you struggle with tangles because it won't rip through them. I got my nails done uh, last weekend and I got my toes to match. I can't remember the last time I've matched my toes with my nail polish, but I picked my toe color first and she put it on and I was like, I really like that. And she said, do you want the matching one for your nails? And I was like, sure. So I, she just grabbed it for me, put it on. It's a new shade from OPI called, uh, so funny story about how I learned the name of this color. I said to the lady who grabbed the color for me, so I didn't even pick it out, um, what is the color? And she picked up the bottle and looked at it and said, get, and had to kind of twist it around because it's written on the cap, getting naughty on my honeymoon. And I was like, oh, thanks. Sorry to make you say that out loud to me. So it's OPI is getting naughty on my honeymoon. So it's naughty is spelled N-A-D-I. So I think that's a place, I don't know. I went on my honeymoon in Charleston. So it's a lovely pink. It's a little bit more like baby pink than I typically go for, but I like it. It's spring, it's March. It's like 80 yesterday, it's 50 today, I don't know. But I feel springy in it. Another blush pink thing as I lean down are these new shoes. I wore them up here so I wouldn't forget to include them and then, then I forgot to take them off before I started shooting. They are Dr. Scholl's. You may have seen on Instagram these gray Dr. Scholl's slide on sneakers just like these that I wear constantly. Because I wear them constantly, they've, they've gotten pretty beat up. They're still, I still wear them constantly, but they're starting to look a little rough. I got pink ones! These ones are cool because they have a little bit different back. The gray ones I have are just all gray. But these are like a nice blush pink. They're kind of like a, like if you mix taupe and pink together, so they're not like screaming pink. So these are just really easy to wear. They go with everything. I can slip them on and be quick, which is important to me. Um, and they're a nice like alternative from gray shoes. So those were my favorites for the month of February. Like I said, if you want to see any other videos, you can check out my YouTube channel. If you're watching this on the blog, if you're watching this on YouTube, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up. That would be fun. And if you leave a comment, I'll do my best to answer. There's a lot more conversation going on over on Snapchat and Instagram if you want to join me over there. I am K8 underscore small things.